Welcome to this flight simulator tutorial on the Garmin G1000, a powerful glass cockpit system that takes aviation to the next level. Whether you're flying a Microsoft Flight Simulator, X-Plane, or another sim, this guy will walk you through the key parts of the G1000 and how to use them effectively in your virtual cockpit. Let's get started. The Garmin G1000 is an integrated flight deck that replaces traditional gauges with advanced avionics. In this tutorial, we'll focus on the key components, the primary flight display, the multifunction display, engine monitoring, radios, and flight planning tools. By the end, you'll know the basics of the G1000. The two large screens are the cornerstone of the G1000. On the left is the PFD, and on the right is the MFD. Let's get started with the PFD. The primary flight display, or PFD, is where you'll find critical flight information. Let's break it down. In the center, you have the attitude indicator, showing your pitch and bank relative to the horizon. This is your primary reference for maintaining level of flight, especially in IFR. On the left, the airspeed tape shows your current speed in knots, along with colored bands to indicate safe and unsafe ranges. For example, green is your normal operating range. On the right, the altitude tape displays your current altitude in feet. To the right of that is the vertical speed indicator, which shows how fast you're climbing or descending. Along the bottom, the heading indicator integrates with the HSI, or the horizontal situation indicator. It displays your current heading and navigation course when tracking waypoints or VORs. In some simulators, the G1000 includes synthetic vision. You can see here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, it does. It provides a 3D terrain view for enhanced situational awareness. It's a great tool for navigating in low visibility. The multifunction display, or MFD, is your go-to screen for navigation, SIPS's monitoring, and situational awareness. Let's explore its key features. The moving map is incredibly useful in the simulator. It shows your flight plan, airspace boundaries, terrain, obstacles, and other things. You can zoom in and out using the knobs on the G1000 bezel. The MFD also serves as an engine monitor. Here you can track vital information like oil pressure, fuel levels, and temperatures. In a simulator, this is especially important for managing power settings and fuel efficiency. Now let's talk about radios and communication. The G1000 makes it easy to manage frequencies directly from the cockpit. Use the tuning knobs on the PFD to adjust your comm and nav frequencies. There's also a nav frequency selector on the MFD as well. The active frequency is on the inside, with the standby frequency on the outside usually highlighted in light blue. A quick press of the flip-flop button switches between them. The audio panel allows you to select which radios to monitor. This is especially useful for managing ATC communications during busy phases of flight especially on VATSIM. Flight planning on the G1000 is intuitive and straightforward. In your simulator, press the FPL or flight plan button to access the flight plan page. Then you'll use the FMS knobs to enter waypoints and build your route, such as your departure, airport, a waypoint along your route, and your arrival airport. Once your flight plan is active, it will appear on the MFD map and integrate with your autopilot system. Speaking of the autopilot, the G1000 autopilot, often known as the GFC 700, is a game changer in simulators. You can engage modes like nav for tracking your flight plan, heading for maintaining a heading, and altitude for altitude hold. Approach mode is especially useful for those precision approaches, such as the ILS. You can also use it for climbing and descending using vertical speed mode. To activate a mode, press the corresponding button on the autopilot panel. Use the knobs to adjust your altitude vertical speed, or heading as needed. The G1000 also includes advanced safety features, alerts and warnings like terrain proximity, as you can see here, or traffic conflicts, and they're displayed prominently on the PFD and the MFD. The traffic can be especially useful when you're flying on VATSIM. That's your overview of the Garmin G1000 for flight simulators. We covered the PFD, the MFD, radios, flight planning, the autopilot, and a few safety features. With this knowledge, you'll be able to take to the skies, not quite like a pro, but you'll be getting there. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more G1000 and other flight tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time up in the sky.